you ever wonder if you should focus on active income or passive income? And frankly, what's the difference? Well, active income is when you get paid for doing a job. You have a certain job to do. When you get it done, you get paid. In real estate investing, I would say that being a wholesaler or being a flipper is active income. That means you have to be active to make that income. The next definition is passive income. What's passive income? Well, passive income is when you set something up that pays you an income after you did the work one time. So maybe you wrote a book and you got residual. Maybe you did a show, right? Maybe you're Tom Cruise who has uh, uh, Top Gun Maverick and getting checks forever, right? So that's a, that's a residual income that he gets from that. But in real estate investing, it's setting up a rental. When you set up a rental, whether it's long-term or short-term, what happens? Well, they pay rent every month to you. The tenant or tenants pay rent to you every month, and then you pay your expenses. Whatever's left over, that's your that's your passive income. And you can set that all up with accountants and with bookkeepers so that you don't have to be involved in a property manager. And I, I would encourage you to always work towards passive income. Why? Passive income, you don't know you need until you need it. Now, you know how I know that? You may not know this, but our son, Cruz, uh, when he was born six years ago, seven years ago, uh, Amber was in the hospital for uh, almost uh, six or seven weeks. I'm um, thinking she was six weeks in the hospital. Then Cruz uh, almost didn't make it when he was first born, and he was hospitalized for the first three months of his life. So for six months, almost six months of my life, my life was completely disrupted. Because I had passive income from businesses, I had passive income from rentals, and I had some money put aside, I was able to weather that storm financially. You know, when you don't need money, or I'm sorry, when you need money and you are unable to do the active part to get that money, that's when it becomes that much more necessary that you actually have passive income. I think so many people are programming the world today to think about active income. Like, I wanna go get a great job. Even if you make $300,000 a year at your job, or a half a million, or 100,000, or maybe you make 50,000, whatever your number is, if you're not working, you're not getting paid. Now you might say, but I have vacation pay. Good for you. As soon as vacation pay expires, as soon as it's done, you're done with the income from that job. However, if you have a rental portfolio set up, I don't care if it's just one house, if you have a rental portfolio set up, what does that mean? It means that people pay rent, they don't even know who you are. If you set it up right, they don't know who you are. They know nothing about you. They don't know if you're here, if you live in the country, if you don't live in the country, if you wake up at 10 or you wake up at six or you leave for the weekend or you fly away to Tahiti. They don't know because they pay rent on their property. And that comes to you in a passive income. I want you to think about the fact that would it be nice to wake up every morning or the first day of the first month or the first day of the month rather and wake up and know that your bills were covered for the month whether you went to work or not. That's passive income. And when you build that passive income up high enough, you'll have total financial freedom. You might be surprised at what that number is. We do an exercise at our home flipping workshop to help people really gather what that is. And what I recommend that you do is this. Take a look at your actual expenses. Like what are your actual expenses that you need to survive on a, on a normal life? Like just your regular day to day. Is it 5,000, 7,000, 8,000? What is it per month? Figure out what that number is and ask yourself, how many rentals would I need? How much rental income would I need to be a passive income to give me total financial freedom? So if I didn't wanna go back to work today, I don't have to. So if your boss calls you and gives you a hard time, you could fire your boss, right? And you'd be surprised, it might be 10 rentals, 20 rentals. If it's short-term rentals, it may only be a handful of rentals so you have total financial freedom from passive income. Now, I would argue that short-term rentals and Airbnbs are a little bit more active income, but if you structure it right the way we teach you and put a property manager in place, it would be a passive income for you. So my advice is focus on building passive income because that's the way to true financial freedom. <laughs>